the Elite Book 900 by Hewlett Packard. As you might already know, I have a cheap laptop. It's our main machine. It's where I video edit, it's where I play games when I can, it's where I work. In the past, I shared this laptop with my wife, but she really needed a device of her own, and for her needs, she wanted a tablet. Something to slip in a bag and carry everywhere, while still being able to use it for work, to move files on her phone, and so on. So in comes the Windows tablet. Full operating system with nice form factor, while bringing in the features and functionality of a tablet. Since we neither had the money to buy something new or wanted to buy something new, used it was. And when I'm looking at used, I'm looking at business class. Why? Simply because prices on the used market are geared towards specifications and not the actual physical build. That means you can get some well-built gear that can take a hit for a good price. The Elite Pad 900 meets military standards for dust, vibration, temperature, humidity, altitude, and is drop proof for up to 30 inches, about 76 centimeters. It's built tough. Not something you're gonna see in an iPad or most other tablets. For about 100 euros, I got the tablet with an included expansion jacket. And look, even though it's tough, it's still sleek. Smooth aluminum back and a screen covered in Gorilla Glass too. And look, as much as I trust the Gorilla Glass, just like all my other touchscreen devices, a tempered glass screen protector goes up top. One or two dollars or euros for that extra bit of protection from scratches and damage. On the bottom you'll have some speakers and the single proprietary power port. The Elite Pad is actually pretty efficient, never using much more than 10 watts under load. On the top of the tablet you have the power button, an array of two microphones, a rotation hold switch and a 3.5mm audio jack. On the side volume up and down and on the other side a little pinhole slot where you can insert a micro SD card for additional storage or a SIM card for HSPA plus connectivity giving you a connection of up to 21 megs a second. There's also an NFC reader which I assume Zoom caters more to the business side rather than to the home user. Battery life itself is claimed to be up to 10 hours, but seeing as this is already a few years old, it gets about 5 to 6 hours. So what about the expansion jacket? It also comes with a battery, and that battery doubles the life of the Elite Pad, which is also claimed to add 10 hours. But in reality, with its age, we see about another 5 to 6 hours, giving us about 10 to 12 hours of battery life in use. And honestly, this is pretty amazing. You can go a whole day or two without ever worrying about having to charge. You might notice that it looks like the jacket has additional speakers, but if you take a closer look, they're just holes that redirect the sound forward. Not entirely a bad thing. The Elite Pad slides right into the jacket, the top attaches itself magnetically, and is secured with two small screws. All the same buttons you find on the Elite Pad are accessible through the jacket. The jacket also adds a couple of USB 2.0 ports, an HDMI out, a pass-through power port, and a multimedia card reader. So let's go ahead and turn it on. I'll tell you, the specs aren't amazing. It's an Intel Atom Z2760 clocked at about 1.8 GHz, leaving a little bit more to be desired. That, tied with only 2 GB of RAM and no upgradeability, means that you need to consider carefully what you will be using this tablet before you get one. But for its purpose, the hardware does meet our needs. It browses the web fine, plays YouTube videos, and it runs Office without an issue. The screen itself is an LED LCD screen with a resolution of 1280 by 800, clear enough outdoors and indoors. The speakers aren't anything special, but it gets the job done, whether you're Skyping or watching a movie, and it uses a 64GB SSD for storage. Also has a built-in GPS module, Bluetooth 4.0, and 802.11n Wi-Fi for up to a 300 megabit connection. On the back you have an 8 megapixel camera, and up front you have a 2.1 megapixel camera. Of course it was shipped with Windows 8 on it, but I've gone ahead and put Windows 10 on it. If you log in, you'll see that we have Windows 10 running in tablet mode. You can of course run it in desktop mode. If if you choose and nothing really special here it's windows you can run any windows app if you want you can run chrome on it if you want but personally if it's on a tablet i do prefer edge but in general it runs well enough and well enough for what it's used for so yeah so there you go the elite pad 900 what it lacks in power it makes up in battery life and as one rugged sleek looking tough laptop i do hope you enjoyed this review if you liked the video press like if you didn't like the video hit dislike and as far as the videos on this channel go remember i'm trying to mix up the content anyway remember to subscribe and wherever you are in the world have a good night have a good morning have a good day bye bye